This is the world's lightest pump at 1.2 ounces or 33 grams. It is designed to be used for sleeping pads and pillows or perfect for hiking and camping where small and light are two highly appreciated features. On top of that, it also comes with adapters to fit most pads on the market, if not all. If including the adapters needed and the battery, it is almost half the weight of its bigger brother, the Tiny Pump 2X and three grams lighter than the micro pump from Thermarest. And the name, well, this is the Zero Pump from Flextail. Today we will dig into the specs and the feature and also try it out when it comes to the performance regarding the inflation times and the number of inflations possible on one charge. So stay tuned for a pumped up episode. When out hiking and when you reach camp and when it is time to inflate your pad, you have a couple of options. You can either use your mouth to inflate the sleeping pad, a pump sack to make the job easier, or a pump making it even more easy. And I prefer a pump for a couple of reasons. When reaching camp, I am most of the time tired, and a pump makes it a lot easier to inflate my pad in no time. I have a small one-person tent, so using my mouth or a pump sack inside the tent in case of bad weather is difficult. And because I'm probably a little bit lazy. The choice of pump for me the past couple of years has been the Tiny Pump 2X from Flextail and it has worked perfectly. And it is also nice having the lantern mode for the evenings, especially during spring and autumn when it is a little bit darker. But it weighs in at 109 grams and even if that isn't very much, there is still room for improvement. And that's where the Zero Pump comes in. And that takes us to the specs. When it comes to the specs, the length of the Zero is 75 millimeters. The diameter is 26 millimeters and the body only weighs in at 33 grams. Now that is small and light and in comparison the tiny pump looks like a giant. To that you also need to add a battery and this 650 milliamp battery from Nightcore weighs in at 19 grams. On top of that you also need to add a nozzle at 6 grams. So all in all the total weight on this pump ends up being 60 grams or 2.5 ounces including <laughs> The strap. The 1.2 ounces declared on the package is therefore only for the body without the battery and adapter, but still 60 grams or 2.1 ounces I would say is amazing. And if then compared to the tiny at 109 grams, this is almost half the weight. Almost. When it comes to the features, it is capable of both inflating and deflating, just like the tiny, but that's about it. It has no lantern mode, no built-in battery and no battery indicator to knowing how much power you have left. All to favor a low weight. The battery used is an RCR123A and the one that I have is the 650 milliamp battery from Nightcore. This one is not included but the latest information that I have that you can add a battery during purchase and you have the possibility to choose a rechargeable battery with or without a built-in charging port. Now since it is not included, you can actually buy any battery that meets the requirements of a battery voltage of 3.7 to 4.2 volts, battery size of 60 millimeter in diameter and 34 millimeter in length, and the battery capacity needs to be 650 milliamp or more. And the GOA size 860 to 900 milliamps from certain suppliers, so do a little bit of googling before you buy one. And then you don't need to worry about running out of power and instead recharge on the go. Now, this little fellow is super powerful and therefore also super quick. And it took only 55 seconds to inflate my Cedar to Summit Etherlight XT Insulated Women's. Wow, that's a mouthful. 1 minute and 10 seconds for the Thermos Ectherm Large and 1 minute and 20 seconds for my Nemo Tensor Insulated Alpine Large version. And I gotta say, it's amazing. The device is like you saw in the clips hands-free because of the soft rubber adapters that follows with the purchase. Like you can see, it fits most of the pads on the market and everything from Thermarest to Cedar Summit and Nemo, plus a few more. And I do recommend you adding the adapter first and then insert the pump. It makes it a lot easier. These adapters, I gotta say, is great and they work perfectly, at least on the three pads that I have. So nice to be able to have a hands-free operation, so well done, Flextail. Now to the more interesting part, and that is how many inflations that we can get on only one charge. Because even if you buy a rechargeable battery with a built-in charger port, 
a long lifetime is necessary not to be able to or not being forced to charge it all the time to drain your power bank that you otherwise need for your phone and other gear. The Tiny Pump 2X has a 1300 milliamp built-in battery while the new and smaller Zero Pump have only a 650 milliamp battery depending on what you choose and that will not last for as long. The Tiny can inflate my pad the Thermarest X Thermal Large 23 times before the red light turned on and in comparison the Zero Pump with a 650 milliamp battery was able to inflate my pads the Nemo Alpine three times the Cedar Summit Etherlite XT insulated five times and my Thermos Neo Air Xtherm five times. So a total of 13 times before the battery gave up. Beside the battery that you choose, it also depends on the pad size, of course. But I would say with a small battery of only 650 milliamps, 13 times is more than enough for most hikes, if only used to inflate the pad. When it comes to the downsides, well, the main downside we have already talked about, and that is the battery. So be sure to buy a battery with a charging port built in to be able to charge it on the go. Otherwise, you will run out of battery when you least expect to. And what I've heard from Flextail and seen on Indiegogo, they will have it as an option when you buy the pump. So be sure to check it out. The second downside is more related to the product itself and that has to do with the sound level. Since using your mouth or a pump sack is a nearly silent operation, any other sound level is a downside and the Zero Pump is no exception. As a comparison, the Tiny Pump 2X reached 94 decibels in my small test at home and the Zero Pump, despite its size, had as much as 84 decibels when tested with the same equipment. Now, my iPhone isn't a lab tool, I do understand that, but it is a comparable result. I don't bother that much and it is a step in the right direction, but still, some might find it disturbing not hearing the birds while inflating their pads. After trying it out at home to see the inflation times and how many times I can use it on one charge, the adapters and the sound level, well, I'm amazed by the low weight, the small size and the power of this little thing able to inflate such a large pad slightly above one minute. I got to give them that. So a buy or a no buy? Hmm. I think it is worth checking out the Zero Pump, especially for you ultralight guys that count every gram but still want the luxury of not using your mouth or a pump sack. This is a great option and the lightest option available. Buy, buy, buy. Now, if you're interested to buy this pump, the world's lightest pump for your sleeping pad and pillow, the way to go before they release it on the website is to visit Indiegogo. I will link to it in the description, so be sure to check it out. If not interested in the Zero, the Tiny Pump 2X is always a good choice, because then you get a built-in battery and a lantern mode, and that is always nice. I also recommend you visiting their website at flexdale.com and for a 15% discount on all products, just add Robert15 during checkout or follow the affiliate link down in the description. Now, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode and the review of the Zero Pump and that I have covered everything that you wanted to know. If not, just leave a comment and I will come back to you as soon as I can. But for now, this is it, and if you liked today's episode, take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also, do hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope to see you again next week, but for now, take care, safe hiking, and bye-bye.